Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. In this video I want to show you how you can very easily create these cool paint on 2D animations directly in Adobe Premiere Pro using a brand new plugin from Boris FX called Silhouette Paint. Yes, like Silhouette. Silhouette Paint can be used for all sorts of advanced video work such as painting, retouching, cloning, image logo replacements, rotoscoping, tracking and much much more. Think of it as kind of like Photoshop for video. And it works in Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Fusion, Nuke, Resolve, Flame and Vegas Pro. But first off, full frontal disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Boris FX. I really enjoy using their products and I actually really enjoy working with their team. Go and check out all of the cool stuff they have on their website. From the Academy Award winning Planar Tracker Mocha to their Continuum Complete and Sapphire Effects collections and now Silhouette Paint. The new Silhouette Paint plugin is available on an annual subscription for 195 US dollars. And if you do want to get in on the fun, be sure to use my custom coupon code Surface Studio in one word to get yourself 15% off the final price. But now let's dive into Premiere Pro, check out what you can do with the new Silhouette Paint plugin and let me show you how you can very easily create this really cool 2D overlay paint on animations. Welcome to the exciting world of Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a simple sequence set up here with a short clip and if I play this back, it's just a really short video of me jumping into the air. Now let's use Silhouette Paint to start drawing onto this video and adding funky 2D animations to it. Once you've installed Silhouette Paint, you will find it in your effects panel. So let's simply search for Silhouette and you will find Boris FX Silhouette Paint. Let's apply the Silhouette Paint effect to our clip and in the effect controls, for this clip, you will now find the Silhouette Paint effect applied. And before we jump into the interface, I just want to show you that Silhouette Paint actually allows you to feed in optional clone sources. So you can actually feed other images or videos into Silhouette Paint that you want to clone from and then paint that onto your video. But let's just leave that for now and let's simply hit open to open up the Silhouette Paint interface. First off, we need to define where we want to save this project because you can actually open Silhouette Paint projects in other host applications or in the standalone version of Silhouette. So let's simply call this one Tobias Jump Animation. I already have a folder location defined for it and working depth I'm going to leave at 8-bit. Then simply hit Create Project and here we are in Silhouette Paint. Now don't let all of the controls on the interface intimidate you. There is a lot of cool stuff you can do with Silhouette Paint but for now we're just going to focus on the basics. The most important thing is at the top left underneath the menu, you actually have two modes. There is a paint mode and a rotor mode. In the paint mode is where you do all your painting, your cloning, your retouching, your brush strokes, all of the artistic stuff happens here. Now, because we're dealing with video and not a single still image, means that if you're painting on that video, you want that paint, that retouching, those clone brush strokes to follow the movement of the video. For that, you use the rotor module within Silhouette Paint, which is where you can do all sorts of tracking for your video and the elements in your video and then attach and kind of link those paint strokes to it. But again, I'm going to touch on that in a later tutorial. For this one, we're just going to leave this out. Just know that that is one of the main functions of Silhouette Paint and this is how it kind of becomes Photoshop for video in a way. So let's return to the paint module. Let's skip over some of these controls at the top here. These ones just above your viewer are for controlling how the viewer displays your video. Top right hand side, you've got a whole bunch of display options so you can see the different color channels of your video as well as use onion skinning, which is a great use for 2D animations as we're going to do. Now on the left hand side of the viewer, you will find all of your tools and there's tools for blemish removal, for blurring things out, sharpening, cloning, painting, cutting, transforming, a whole bunch of other really useful tools. Now we're not going to go through all of them now. The main one we're going to be using is this paint or color tool here. Now you may have noticed that down at the bottom here, this section is contextual to the tool that you have selected. So you just get all of the controls for set tool displayed. Let's just select the color tool here. And this is very simple, very much like what you have in Photoshop. You select the paint, you can change the brush size, the opacity, the softness, fallout, flatness, angle, spacing, all sorts of things. And then you can literally click and drag and paint onto your video. In the bottom left of Silhouette Paint, you will find the paint history where you can find all of your paint strokes. And Silhouette Paint actually uses a hybrid model between vector and pixel based. As you're painting, as you create brush strokes, those get recorded as vector movements and they get recorded in your paint history. So you can select each of them individually and I can select any of them, and just delete that particular stroke. But once you've applied those strokes, they actually get rasterized into a pixel-based image. 
for performance because it's much easier and faster to render. But you will always have full access to all of the brush strokes that you have applied. You can modify them, delete them, do whatever you want with them. For example, I'm just going to select my entire paint history, just click delete and it asks me to rebuild because it's going to re-rasterize the image. I'm just going to say yes. So now we're back to where we started. Now, before we get into the 2D animations, I quickly want to show you how easy it is to erase things from video using Silhouette Paint. For example, let's say I want to erase my legs in this particular frame. I can simply come over to the left hand side, select the clone tool and down here I can define what I'm painting from, what my source for the cloning is going to be. Right now that is set to foreground if I pop this open. Now I don't have any input sources, I'm not feeding any video into Silhouette Paint but if I was I could select them here. I'm just going to select the foreground which is our actual video but I can now select which frame I want to clone from. Right now this is set to relative and well it's kind of hard to see what I'm going to be doing unless I get some sort of visual overlay. Now I can actually enable all sorts of different ways of viewing which frame I'm going to use as my source for the cloning. I can onion skin the overlay and nothing happens because the frame we're cloning from is frame 24 and we are on frame 24 so they're exactly the same. But if I now crank this up, you can see that the source is actually being overlaid like semi-transparent onto that. So I'm going to take a frame where my legs are kind of up in the air like that. So the frame I'm cloning from is this one here where I'm jumping in the air. You can also use a difference view or a side by side. So you can actually just see this is the frame I'm on, this is the source I'm going to use for the cloning. So I'm just going to move that over. Let's disable that with the clone brush. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm now simply going to paint over my feet. And this is now going to paint from the source frame onto this one. So now my feet are erased. Now if I move forward or backwards a frame, it's only done for this one frame and we now would need to track the movement of the ground, which we can do in Silhouette Paint and have that cloning brush follow the movement. Again, pretty easy and something to cover in a later tutorial, but you can very easily just erase people or anything you really want or just paint something totally different in or add any sorts of objects into your video directly in Silhouette Paint. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my paint history. So I'm going to delete those clone strokes we have right there. Let's return to the color tool and let's actually start doing some cool funky 2D paint animations. And I'm going to add some timestamp if you want to jump right here. So this is how you add 2D paint animations in Silhouette Paint to your video. With the color tool selected, let me just make the brush a little bit smaller. Now, this is the video, right? It's just me jumping. And let's say that at this point here, just before the jump, I want kind of a surge of energy coming from the bottom of my feet up through my body. And then I'll jump and we'll add a whole bunch of other things. Maybe we'll paint some new glasses on me. You know, some that look even nerdier than the ones I'm already wearing. But let's just get started. So we're coming to the first frame here. I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Zoom in just around my feet. I'm going to have a surge of energy kind of ripple from the outside on my feet and then up my body. Now down here you can define the settings for your brush, the shapes and you know the flatness, angle, spacing, how it works. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm not just painting the RGB but I'm also painting the alpha, so the transparency. So only where my brushes strokes are going to be is going to be where Silhouette Paint will record transparency and that's going to allow us to overlay those paint strokes a bit more nicely with a bit of glow later in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just come in right here. I might actually change to a bit more of an orangey kind of color and I'm actually going to start my opacity maybe at around 10 to 20 percent. So the energy is going to fade in and then kind of ripple up. So now I'm just going to create like little ripples out here. I'm literally just painting on this video maybe like that. And now I'm going to go a frame forward and I can't see my paint anymore. And this is where onion skinning becomes really useful. Top right hand side of Silhouette Paint, you will find an option to enable onion skinning. Let's tick that on. Nothing happens. Let's expand the options here. And I can define how many frames backward and forward are going to be faded and blended over this video. Right now that's one frame back and one frame forward. Now I don't need to see the next frame. I just want to see the one before. And you can see a little bit, but the mix is too strong. So if I take this mix down to maybe around 40-50%, you can now see the stroke blended in from the previous frame. And this makes it super easy to now continue this animation in this frame because I can see exactly where my paint was on the previous one. Let's zoom in. Let's bring the opacity up to maybe around 30. And now I'm going to paint the same thing, but just a little bit closer into my feet. Maybe like this. Go a frame forward and again you can see how this onion skinning kind of continues on. 
let's go to maybe 45%. And again, let's just paint that in. Let's go a frame forward, opacity up to maybe 60. Let's paint that in again, move a frame forward. Now go with about 70%. And I would say at this point, I would say you're probably around my feet. So I'm just going to start painting this energy beam to like be wrapping around the bottom of my feet right there. Let's go a frame forward. I'm going to jack the opacity up to 90%. I'm essentially just going to paint on this energy traveling up my body. And I am going to speed this up a little bit. I'm really just going through frame by frame and with onion skating, I'm just painting this animation directly onto the video. Cool. And there you have it. We literally just painted this on and with onion skinning very easily and tracked this onto the video. And that's essentially all you need to do. And this technique allows you to paint any 2D animations onto your video that you want. You can add new elements, you can trace objects that are already there, either the outlines or their shapes. You can even start with a blank canvas and just paint a 2D animation from scratch. Now I'm just going to add a whole bunch of different elements to this effect, to me jumping into the air and feel free to do whatever you want here. I'm just going to speed this up because this does take a little bit of time and going back and forth with the X and Z key in Silhouette Paint with Onion Skinning enabled just to make sure that those animations line up nicely. And once we're done, let's just play this back one more time. Nice, so much better, especially with those glasses. Now let's save our project, close our Silhouette Paint and return to Premiere Pro. And if we now rewind and play back our clip, we have the clip with all of the paint effects applied to it and it runs really smoothly because Silhouette Paint has converted all of those vector strokes into raster frames, so it renders really nice and fast. Now, the last thing I want to do, I want to add a little bit of glow to just these strokes, but right now the strokes are directly on top of our video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. So now I have two copies of it. On the bottom one, I'm going to disable the silhouette paint effect, and I'm also going to hide the visibility on this layer for just a moment. Let's select the top one. And in the silhouette paint effect now, I'm going to select my output alpha, rather than coming from the source, which is the transparency of my entire video, which is why we see the whole thing. I'm just going to select painted alpha, which is only going to use the transparency and the alpha from the strokes themselves. So now this layer contains only our painted on animations and nothing else. Now that looks pretty cool by itself, but I actually want to composite this on top of the base image. So let's re-enable the visibility on the base footage. So now the top one is really just our paint. So you can enable and disable that and we can apply effects to just the paint itself. So let me just pick out a glow effect and you can use any effect that you have. You can play around with this. Let's just apply this to this top layer and you can immediately see a fair bit of glow going on right there. Maybe I'll come down, make the intensity a little bit bigger, but I'll make the width just a little bit smaller. Now this S glow effect, which I really like, comes from the Sapphire collection from Boris FX. And there's tons of other things in there as well. So it's worth checking out if you're into that sort of stuff. Now, the only other thing I'm going to do is on this top layer, I'm actually going to change the blend mode from normal over to linear dodge additive. So it's going to kind of brightly add those lines on top. It just looks a little bit more exciting in my opinion. It looks more like energy beams, but again, feel free to tweak this any way you want. So let's rewind and play back our final paint on 2D animations effect. And that is all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch more, just click these links over on the right hand side. If you want to support me, what I do on this channel, be sure to check out all of the links down in the video description. And as always, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.